time for instalment number three of uh, the Inktober challenge. Now today I'm a bit groany because I uh, I'm looking after a little cat, and this is someone who I've known since she was a little kitten, since she was born, and I've looked after her tons of times, but for some reason, when I went to see her this morning, I didn't take an antihistamine tablet. And I'm allergic to cats, so I'm all uh, snotty and sneezy and I've been, uh, yeah, just feeling a bit congested, you know, in the uh, nasal region, in the uh, circulatory systems, feeling a bit blocked up. But um, the plan is, because I made one um, cover art piece last week I think it was and then yesterday for installment number two of the Inktober challenge I did the second cover this is for CDs which I know is a bit of an old technology now but I've been making um, playlists of instrumental music that I make and my brother likes them I enjoy them and I play them in my car and I've made four in total and he has the first one so these three I'm going to be giving them to him for his birthday and I'm trying to make the third cover for the CD now and um, because it's three CDs and I've made the first one last week and the second one yesterday they were random machinery <sighs> sorry I'm really struggling today I wasn't even going to put the camera on because my eyes were all red before because I've been rubbing my eyes and Anyway, um, so this third CD uh, is a bit different. The first two have, uh, they're called Next Up and um, Audio Digital. And then um, this third one is called Egg Beater. So it's a bit, a bit of a different one compared to the other two because Egg Beater is specifically hip hop instrumental beats so I'm going to be drawing egg beaters just over and over again for the image for the cover um, should look cool I think I'm going to do it in the same type of pen as yesterday but this time the red and it is the Stabilo I've got to read it actually 0 0.88 fine 0 0.4 red I do like these pens they are fun to use 0 0.4 seems actually quite a good thickness because you can do thinner lines if you use the edge and it's fairly thick if you go straight down or if you go very slow and press a little bit harder on the surface so that's what I'm doing um, but I'm just feeling a little bit more beaten up today because of my allergies. I've taken an antihistamine since, but I'm still sneezing. I think she's just on my clothes now because when I see her, I'm full of kind of cuddles and strokes with her, you know, to make her feel loved and protected. And um, it's always lovely to see her. This is the little cat I'm talking about, by the way. But, um, but her fur gets on my clothes and it's just, I should really just take all the clothes off, put them in the washing machine and wear new clothes each time. But I haven't so far so um, this is where I am aside from that today I was doing this drawing already I've started recording this video about halfway through this drawing and I got interrupted by um, a chap from the Plankton project the uh, Plankton uh, exhibition I've mentioned this a few times on this channel if you haven't seen it already then I will mention it briefly there are 35 artists 75 pieces or thereabouts and um, those were all photographed and registered over the weekend and at the same time I was doing other things and it was splitting my time here and there but on the Saturday morning from 9.30 till 1.30 I was doing that
photographing and logging all of the pieces of artwork from the artist and then from 2.30 till um, about I don't know 7 p.m. I was preparing for and then doing a workshop um, on drawing and then after that I went to a cocktail bar which is lovely owned by a um, gallery owner who did an open recently so a call for artists to submit their work to be exhibited in the gallery and I just received an email today saying that one of my three submissions has been accepted it's actually my least favorite of the three that I submitted but it's nice to have anything submitted so that's going to be exhibited in November which means that's technically my fifth exhibition this year which is brilliant um, anyway so I was interrupted by a chap from the Plankton Project today who called me about how the film which I'd made, because I have two submissions for the Plankton exhibition. One is a drawing with dots. It's in chalk and soft pastels. And the other is a film that I've been working on. And that's taken quite a while because I've been interviewing different artists, creating different edits, producing music, and then um, composing it all into one film. Uh, that's all done. It's all ready. The chap in charge of the project to a large extent spent a week making me frames for the laptop that will have the file on it and that laptop will be playing the file that will be then running through a monitor and he built a frame for the monitor and he got this big you know extension cable and all sorts of work he did which is really great and then what's happened is the person who is curating the exhibition somehow overlooked that photograph for that exhibit and planned out the space for everything except for that exhibit which is the laptop and the monitor which needs wall space so I was discussing this with the chap from the project and uh, I started to create a couple of edits myself where I was trying to find out what space could be used on the wall if we just moved pieces of artwork around we could find space for it and um, I created two different layout options and they were being discussed with this person from the project and I'm not sure whether they are viable so I've reached out to the curator and I'm waiting to hear back from him but I think he works during the day so perhaps this is business hours but that took an hour or so to uh, sort out and discuss. So that's what I was doing earlier today. It's what stopped me in my tracks doing this drawing, which I'm going to continue with. And uh, just like yesterday, you're going to be seeing the progress of this drawing beyond the stage it's at now whilst I'm recording this video. So you'll be further along than I am. Um, I don't know how much I'll be doing on this. Again, you'll, you'll know better than I will. At the moment, I'm looking at three different drawings. So the first three pieces that you saw me draw, that's where I was up to when I started recording this video. And I'm thinking about a couple of different positions, but I'm not sure what else is going to happen as far as this space. I do want it similar to the other covers. I want it to be covered with lines, so I don't know how exactly I'm going to do that. But I've got a couple of ideas, so I can imagine whatever those ideas are will be what I end up doing. Because uh, drawing like this isn't something which I plan out or do an underdrawing for or sketch beforehand anywhere else. I just get into it. And I wanted to try and get this drawing done a bit earlier than others. Uh, it's currently half two in the afternoon, much earlier than I normally do these types of ink drawings so I'm hoping to get this done so that I can go and see the little cat again she's called Mona and um, I'm going to go and see her hopefully twice more today I tried to go before I have my tea and after and uh, give her some food and some strokes and some company and a bit of playtime and then um, I wanted to start a painting this week and it's now Tuesday so I could do with starting that today I wanted to see if I could get it done for Thursday but there's possibly going to be an interview 
that I'm going to be doing on Thursday or Monday. And there's some overlap because the first exhibition I had was in Carnarvon, which is the collaborative project with Petra, which you may know or you may not know. It's the first exhibition I've done um, since university anyway. I was technically in other exhibitions previously, but I'll talk about that some other time. This is the first proper exhibition where, oh, excuse me, majority of the space in the gallery is uh, my work and it's been split with Petra so I say the majority of the space to be fair it's half and half we've got I think I counted and we've got exactly the same amount of pieces in the gallery um, but what I mean is it's not shared between you know 20 or 30 other artists which I've been in galleries before where I have three pieces in but then there are you know walls and racks and cabinets and cases full of other things this is literally a gallery dedicated to the project that Petra and I have been collaborating on um, that comes down the last day is Saturday we're now on Tuesday the last day is Saturday so either Sunday or Monday that work has to come off the walls and back here well my share has to come back here and I've emailed the lady who manages the space and told her that my preference has to be Sunday because I have an interview on Monday and it's half one in the afternoon. So unless she's going to be there early in the morning, which she doesn't seem to be, um, then I'm going to need to make it Sunday instead of Monday. But I haven't spoken to Petra, so I need to see what she prefers. She's away at the moment, so I'll leave it until tomorrow to reach out to her, let her know she's received an email and where my mind is as far as picking up the work it's fine it's just a weird bit of an overlap if I don't have to do an interview on Monday if it happens on Thursday then fine I can do that on Monday if it does happen on Thursday it means I can't go to the cattle market but I can't see me finishing a painting between today and Thursday anyway because it means today and tomorrow I'd have to have it painted and I'm just not that quick at the moment uh, I have to uh, develop my skills and abilities beyond where they are now in order to be able to turn around a painting in a day and a half. So Thursday would have been better. I am waffling on. I seem to be doing this a lot lately. The more I have on in my life, the more I just digress and then digress. And every sentence I try to finish ends up being diverted into another thought before I can return back to saying that, uh, what was I saying? I think I was just saying that that's what my week looks like and that's what the double booking is at the moment. Good news is that I've been submitted to an exhibition, uh, which will be the fifth exhibition this year. Bad news is that I'm struggling to get my second piece into the Plankton exhibition, even though it has to be in, because it's not just me and the scientists who have worked on the piece. Oh, my eyes started itching again. It's also lots of other artists who've uh, been interviewed and submitted or shared with me their still images and videos for me to use. And a friend of mine in Manchester helped me EQ the music. Well, actually, that's more for the promotional piece, but still. Anyway, the point being, there's lots of people involved with this piece. So it's more important to have that submitted than it is my drawing. My drawing isn't especially large. I don't know. I just feel as though it could be accommodated quite easily. And at the moment, the chap who is curating, his last response was, I will just put it on a table. And it's not a laptop and a monitor that way. It's a laptop and a monitor that needs mounting on the wall. Plus, pieces on the table are only there for three days, whereas pieces that are mounted on the walls are going to be there for a month. And that is obviously the preference, because not just because it's my piece, but because it's representative of the project as a whole. So that's what we're pushing for. So, yeah, that's what's been going on. I hope this piece worked out good. Again, I don't know what it looks like. I know what it looks like so far, but I don't know what happens next. So uh, I'm sure it looks busy.
Bye. See you tomorrow.